Chuck, thank you. A violent night in Chicago, and police say an Indianapolis man wanted by police here is to blame. Sources tell Eyewitness News that Daniel Brown was tracked by U.S. Marshals to Chicago. That's where he was holed up in his sister's apartment, according to police, last night during the standoff with officers that lasted several hours. Now, police say Brown shot an officer. Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon has been keeping track of all of the developments. He has more right now. Matt, good morning. Bruce, good morning. This standoff ended just before midnight. Police found two men inside that apartment. One is dead. Another is in police custody. Now, we are still awaiting word this morning if Daniel Brown has been caught and if he is dead or alive. This scene unfolded for hours, terrorizing the Chicago neighborhood. These flashes of light that you see are actually from a rapid exchange of gunfire. More than 100 officers from the Chicago Police Department and U.S. Marshals all swarmed the apartment complex. Investigators believe that's where Daniel Brown had been staying with his sister. During the standoff, police say Brown shot a Chicago Police Department captain. He's surrounded by his family, and it could have been a heck of a lot worse than what it is right now. Um, he has uh, two bullet wounds. Can't tell if it's one bullet, two fragments. Apparently hit from the top, got hit here, and, and something, something lodged in his cheek and something lodged in his back. So it could be two bullets. That officer is expected to be okay. He has been identified as a 20-year department veteran. Meanwhile, here in Indianapolis, Chief Height released a statement last night saying in part, quote, we encourage all of our citizens to pray for a peaceful conclusion, but justice must be served. Now, you may remember Daniel Brown is wanted in connection with three separate shootings here in Indianapolis over the weekend. We'll continue to follow this developing story this morning and bring you the very latest. Julia.